we are starting out at 8 p.m. Where are we going, boo? Urgent care. Urgent care. Do you want to tell them why we're going to urgent care? Can hold it? Sure. Okay. My foot has been hurting for like four weeks. No, I would say two or three weeks. No, because it was, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Two weeks, maybe. And how do you think you heard it? Cheer. And cheer somehow. We kind of just let it be. Mm -hmm. Tried to like rest it, ice it. Cause I just thought it was like, oh, you're just pounding on it. But then like, when I got to just like normal, like, like football, like halftime, like just standing. Yeah, like sideline, it got even worse. And I'm like, yeah, it hurts worse to just stand on it yeah. versus even tumbling, right? Cause you had tumble camp. Well, it wasn't. It was stunt and tumble. Which is stunting? I didn't do stunting. All I did was just like you were just holding. Yeah, yeah. Here's. In order to beat the daytime crowds at urgent care, we're going at eight o'clock. They're open for two more hours, and right now it shows a twenty-minute wait time, but I couldn't check in online, so we're just gonna rush down there and hope we can get in. Um, they'll probably do an X-ray um, if it's just a sprain. Then, dad thinks it is, yeah, dad thinks it's probably a sprain. Except for, I could be like, something different, but I, they'll tell us yeah. what wrap or brace or something to put it in because you do have more cheer to do, both kinds of cheer. So, kind of we need to know what kind of help and what kind of brace to put you in. Luckily, it's not a break. It's likely um, uh, either a shin splint. She thinks it's actually lower than a shin splint where it started out as such and it's just gone down to the soft tissue um, starting like lower shin down over the top of her foot. So we are going to get Vol, what is it called, Volterin? Is yes. that what it's called? At Target really quick. It's a topical gel um, pain relief. They actually, she said that most people use it for arthritis because that's like um, top soft tissue pain relief. So it's very similar um, for this purpose. I put it on a couple times a day. Um, so I might actually just secretly send it with her to school. We're gonna find out what hours she can so put it on. No. <laughs> and yeah, we can put on some light for myself here real quick. Um, so I'm gonna go grab that at Target really quick. It's just over the counter and we're gonna put it on tonight. Um, they do want little to no external activities, <laughs> athletic activities. Which I'm not doing. Which we're just going to do mild. Luckily the next cheer activities, like she doesn't have, well she has cheer practice in two days. She didn't have it tonight um, because it was the first day of school and then she has it in two days and then she has a game on Saturday. Um, we're just going to do um, mild use of it at the practice and then see how she feels at practice for your like halftime performance. Um, maybe we'll take it easy leading up to your halftime performance. It easy. <laughs> but we, I think it'll help a lot to have the pain cream on it leading up to doing it. So that'll help. And then we rest it and ice it every other time we can. Why is it always when we start at school I have something, <laughs> something wrong? Well, at least it's not a broken arm. I mean, if it was in a cast, you would literally wouldn't be able to do any of the cheer. So it it's could be worse. One. And they want, they expect us to get better in the next, I don't know, week or two. Cause they were like, if it's not better in three, four weeks, then that's when we go back to your pediatrician to check out. Which one? Your pediatrician. Yeah. yeah, your regular wonderful pediatrician. So we're gonna head over to Target really quick. We already know that they have it. And there's a $3 off Target Circle coupon and 10% off one order. And I have $7 in Target savings that I could use. So actually, I might be able to get it for free, which would be fantastic. 
All right, we found the Volterran arthritis pain. <laughs> she can take this four times a day, or actually just put it on herself four times a day. So I gotta figure out, I think she can probably get through most of school, and then if I need to go down there and put it on her, um, I can, because I don't think they'll let her take this with her. She's kind of frustrated right now, so I'm letting her shop. Letting her like look around for clothes. Do I not hide from Ashley? We're looking at baby boy clothes for my sister's baby shower. I haven't decided on my outfit. I had decided on one and I came back to find it and it's gone. I knew I should have bought it when I saw it. Um, the problem is that like Ashley and most of my kids are kind of weird where they deal with the pain or whatever for a long time. And then when you convince them to go to urgent care or the ER, depending on how bad it is, then they don't want to go, but then they insist on going. And then when we go and we get the advice of the doctor, they don't believe the doctor and they want to do what they want to do, which we were doing before and it wasn't working. <laughs> See where I'm going with this. So we're going to trust this process, correct? Are we going to trust that this is going to work? And if it doesn't work in two or three weeks, we call your doctor. And do I? I don't know. That's why we go to a doctor. This is. <laughs> now you see what I'm experiencing. <gasps> this one is cute, Ashley. That one's cute. Look at this one. That one's cute with the little lion. That's really cute. That one is cute. Toy Story. That one's cute. All right, we did find one that I will agree to. Sure. An oversized sure. adult strawberry shortcake t-shirt. Super cute. Given that that's literally the only shirt. Well, you got the two others from Timu. And then you've gotten like. For like cheer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wear on the school, basically. You can. Um, but she, and then biker shorts. That's all you've gotten for school. So yeah. we'll get this, this t-shirt. Chelsea has this one here. Gudutama. Um, and they need to come out with more of a Barbie collection yeah. at this point. I mean, if she didn't have like a gajillion jackets, I would totally get this one. No, don't make a mess. They're just closing. It's a Grateful Dead. I could have told you that from up there. <sighs> okay, we found these guys. They're five bucks. And literally, this is what you live in. Yep. And then you throw a sweatshirt over it. So we don't buy like long sleeve shirts at all. All right. Well, that's a win. We haven't seen those ones at all. Those are new. Oh, we never look over there. No, I have. I've come in this section all the time. This is like the teenage section. Yeah. We just got those ones an extra small. Okay, thanks to my Target savings and my $3 off coupon, I got your medicine for free. Thank you, Mom. Okay, so next morning, you, you're taking the cream with you. Just discreetly put it on one time, okay? I know. It's not really a just reach into your hand, put some in, into your backpack, put some onto your hand, and then put it on your leg. Love you. It's weird not going out with you. Love you. Mahalo. Have a good day. I could do this all the way to the bus stop, but I won't. So yes, it's the next morning. I have all of my other kids home today because they have late start. I almost wish they would just start school on the late start day because then moms could like actually like see all their kids <laughs> and get all the pictures and all the things. Anyway, um, <clears throat> obviously it's the next morning and uh, last night was rough. Ashley has a hard time with like medical authority, if you will. She wants to go get medical help because she knows that, like, ultimately, it is helpful. They will help you. They will find the problem. But once she gets the help, whether it's mental, physical, she refuses the information and the treatment. And aside from, like, putting an actual cast on your arm, she wants to refuse the treatment because it's not what she wanted to, done. She wanted to be told to be put into a... A ankle brace um, and have the pain go away just from wearing an ankle brace um, but that was the polar opposite of what we needed to do in fact the doctor said do not wear a brace do not wrap it do not 
do anything like that. So, um, we had a bit of a hustle last night trying to get her into bed, um, trying to like help her understand that the cream, the ointment was the only option to help her be, not be in pain, not the only option, part of the solution to help her not be in pain along with ice and resting it. Um, we aren't going to have her like stop going to cheer. We are going to have her go and luckily sideline cheer the, the squad she's on right now for football cheering um, is a little bit less impact. I just need her to stand there to do the cheers and do her arm movements and stuff. And she can do it the leg movements. It's just, it's less impact than her other cheer squad. And um, she's had two really long day camps. I mean, they're like, you know, five, six hour camps and it's high impact. And so, <laughs> um, I think that's where she kind of strained her leg is from those camps and not from this sideline cheering. I think the sideline cheering just, you know, aggravated it from standing on it. So hopefully just we have two practices a week now instead of four and then the games on Saturday will be different than the jamboree we just went to. Um, so I've just told her she can do the cheer and then when she feels the really, you know, big part of the pain, that's when she has to like kind of stand off of that leg. And if it means not kicking your leg up or not doing the full bounce to the cheer, then that's what you end up having to do. And we just took her till probably midnight last night to like convince her that that was the case. <laughs> we were so tired. We're like, can you just go to bed? But you have to like talk her through it because it's also her anxiety um, coming out. And so... You have to be just patient with her and anyway hopefully she's not mad at me in the future for talking about this um but it's just the reality of like being a mom and convincing kids that medical help is okay maybe others will understand what i'm saying maybe i'm the only one i don't know i came from a dad being a doctor he was my pediatrician <laughs> like he didn't go to a doctor dad came home looked at your throat you have strep go get medicine. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't hard for me to trust my own father when it came to the medical side of things. So that's it. That's all I got for you. I just, she'll go to school today and hopefully the doc, the, the teachers don't get mad at her for having that cream, arthritis cream in her backpack. I kind of wonder what someone will say if they see it in her backpack or if they see her doing it hopefully she'll be able to be discreet and she'll just be able to reach her hand in squeeze some into her you know fingers and then just rub it on her leg she's wearing shorts um and just apply it one time and then we'll do it two more times when she gets home tonight but uh, you know I'm glad it's an easy solution except it in her mind it's not she really only has about two weeks to kind of recover from it and I need her to recover from it because her other squad starts up with her four hour practice, actually six hour practices on two different nights, starting in like four weeks. And so I'm, I need her to like get this healed before that, that squad starts practices and stuff. So just a lovely night at urgent care with your kiddo well, unexpectedly and she'll be fine. It's just, you know, it's, it's harder to deal with the aftermath of her reaction to it than it is to actually deal with the injury. <laughs> so I'm going to make this short. We will see you guys next time. I don't know if I'm going to film today today because I literally have no plans. I probably should work out, but I don't have any actual plans. So we will see you guys whenever I pick up the camera again. Take care.